College football continues this weekend on CBS when the number one team in the nation begins conference play when the Georgia Bulldogs host the South Carolina Gamecocks at 3.30. The defending back-to-back -back national champion Bulldogs are coming off a 45-3 home win over Ball State and will see their first Power 5 opponent this weekend. For more on what to watch for in this one, we welcome in our college football analyst, Brian Jones. Brian, it is great to see you this weekend. Georgia is hoping to continue their dominance at home, leaning on quarterback Carson Beck, of course, to lead them to their 21st straight win at home. Although the Gamecocks make things interesting as they are the last team to beat Georgia at their place. That came back in 2019. This will be a fun one. What are you watching for? I'm going to watch and see. First of all, thanks, George, for having me. But I want to see if South Carolina can muster a run game. They haven't thus far in, in, in both ball games, minus two yards rushing versus North Carolina last week versus Furman, leading Russia. Jordan had 42 yards. That's not enough to fill a, a flower pot. So they need to be balanced if they have any thoughts of knocking off Georgia. So, and they also offensively need to withstand uh, the blitzing of, of Georgia because they come at you in waves and they bring a whole host of guys and they play like. 30, 40 guys through these first two ball games on the defensive side of the ball, so they don't get tired. And so you're going to have to protect Spencer Rattler, who's been pretty good. 83% passer, didn't have any touchdown passes in that first ball game, but changed that just last week versus Furman. So a balanced attack offensively. Defensively, Carson Beck, you know, he's looked pretty nice standing in the pocket. It's been a, a pretty uh, clean pocket. I believe uh, Ball State got to him maybe once or twice last week. And we know Georgia wants to hang their hat on running the ball. And, and, and there again, as they do on defense, they come at you with two or three different guys. And offensively, you know, the passing game, you got Bowers, uh, you have others, Rosemary, St. Jack. Uh, so they, they've got some studs there in that passing game. And you just got to make sure you take one of those away. Don't know how to do both and force some turnovers. That's going to be the key for the Gamecocks. Yeah, there's a lot of things to watch for. Pressures on, of course, for the Gamecocks. You mentioned the Bulldogs defense. They have the, if not the top in unit in college football right now. They have that even after losing some major pieces to the NFL, we know, of course. Although they will be tested really for the first time this season, Brian, as quarterback Spencer Rattler, as you mentioned, he's been solid. The Gamecocks have thrown for 816 yards with five touchdowns, no interceptions so far. You have to expect that this offense will push the Bulldogs secondary that really hasn't been challenged so far. So how do the dogs really find success against a guy like Rattler? Let's go deeper into that. Well, they, they need to get to him. They need they need to sack him. Nine times he was sacked by North Carolina in that first ball game. And while Georgia in that department, they slid a season ago, they were still a dynamite defense. And, and, and through two ball games this year, the sacks are not really there to highlight, but they applied pressure. And, and you don't always have to get to the quarterback. You just want to heat him up, get him off his mark, and, and, and make him uh, throw errant passes, and, and they had, a, I think, three interceptions a, a week ago in that fall state fall game. But the teams that have given Georgia fits, they have beaten them through the air. So if you've got time to, to sit back there and survey the field and, and go through your pro your progressions, you can make some hay versus this secondary. But that's a big old hip <laughs> uh, because Georgia, they, they're going to be heated, and, and they come with the ears pinned back. So. That's the elixir for knocking them off, whether it, 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 it was Bama a couple of years ago in the SEC championship game with, uh, you know, Jameson Williams and, and, of course, Bryce Young at, at quarterback and C.J. Stroud in the college football playoff semifinal. He lit them up in that secondary because his offensive line gave him time. Spencer Rattler, he's a 37% passer when he's under duress. So you know what Georgia wants to do, and this is what they do against any team. They want to put some pressure on Spencer Rattler, but if he can stay upright and has time, 
He, who knows? He might be able to find a, a huge gifted receiver, uh, Xavier Leggett, number 17 for South Carolina. Watch this young man because he's been putting on a show through first the first two ball games. It is a tough test uh, that they're going to have containing one of the best uh, quarterbacks right now playing in the nation. And when he plays like that, he makes South Carolina a dangerous team. I agree with you. His offensive line, though, is coming off that big game where they did improve in pass protection, giving up just one set. Back, allowing Rattler to really complete 90. They supposed to improve. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I feel you. I feel you. 93 percent of his passes, though, were completed against Furman, uh, with six going for over 20 yards. South Carolina, you know, has momentum right now as well as Georgia, so you just can't count out a Rattler-led team. With all of that being said, though, Brian, you you have to have a final score prediction for me. I'm excited because Georgia heavy favorites in this one. Now, if I give you a prediction, what am I supposed to say for the folks Saturday afternoon when we're doing our pregame show? I they have nothing to wait for. You got right? you got to be honest though with them, Brian. You got to give them I'm something. You got to tease them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, all right, I'm gonna give you this. How about uh, Georgia? Uh, Georgia 27, South Kakalaki 10. Okay. All right. I like it. Brian Jones, thank you so much for joining us. A preview of college football here in the on in the SEC on CBS. South Carolina and Georgia, things should be fun in Athens this Saturday. Catch all of the action at 3.30 on CBS.